You want me to go or you want to go? Yeah, 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 you go, man. I, I mean, so, there's, <laughs> okay. there's a lot. So there, it's, yeah, a lot. Yeah, there's there's a lot. it's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah, it's it's always a lot, and that's and, and that's kind yeah. of where I'm at. I mean, I you know before I saw that clip, that was my first time seeing it. Um, yeah. You know, I, I saw the the back and forth, or not even back and forth. The, you know, him saying he wants to play with Lamar, Lamar. You know, the emoji. I'm like, I I believe we've seen the last of Antonio Brown, and that's that's got nothing to do whether with whether it's fair or not. Deserves yeah. got nothing to do with it. I think the NFL is out of teams who are intoxicated enough by his talent to take the risks associated with him. He's like, well, what risks are those? Ask the Raiders, ask the Patriots, ask the Bucks. It always ends badly. It always ends badly. Ask the, so now ask, ask the yourself. And ask, the well, it, but 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 since the Steelers, but the Before, Steelers don't yeah, count yeah, because since, they had him. Since, I'm talking about the people that have taken yeah. him since then and decided, since, oh, yeah. we can take this reclamation project. Ask yourself, what organization that's contending would say, let's bring that into our locker room and see how it goes, even though we've seen this movie before. What organization that's trying to build a winning culture with a young quarterback would say, yeah, let's bring that into our locker room and see how it goes. I think he has burned every bridge. The last bridge he had was named Brady in two stops in New England and Tampa. I don't see another team giving him an, another second chance because of stuff like this. He may have a legitimate case, a legitimate gripe with the Bucks, and I've always kept an open mind about whether or not he had a legitimate gripe with yeah, the Bucks. You, and you have, you really have, yeah. He might, because um, yeah. you know. And I even hesitated to roll this clip today because I was like. Because remember I said, I think I said two, three podcasts ago, I'm over the story. I'm over here from Antonio Brown. I'm done with it. But the more he says and the more that he, the more claims that he makes and more accusations that he makes, I'm like, his, his story does deserve to be heard, especially if it does help the rest of us when it comes to how to responsibly handle a conversation around mental health. I think there's something to be gained from that. But but I'm, I'm I'm a little just I, I just think this this story has jumped the shark at this point. I'm just I'm shocked to see him on real sports because I mean it's one thing yeah, again to do a bunch of different like, podcasts. Seeing Brian it pop up with, 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 with Brian Gumble, I'm like, right. damn. I'm like, all right, there's still this is still a thing, and here we are giving it more oxygen. So I would say, look, whatever he does with whomever he does it, I wish him the best. You know, I don't know him. I got nothing personally against him. I just don't think that another team. He's not that good. Yeah, he's really he's still right. really good, right? But not that right. good. But, but the the that days good. of his yeah, talent out trumping yeah. the problem yeah. out, outweighing the problems are gone. Those those days are gone. You know, my it, it, I'm with you. When you see Brian Gumble show up, it's like people used to say uh, back in the day, 60 minutes call. You're like, oh, yeah. that one, did I do something? Did I do something wrong? And then two. Okay, if I did, oh, 60 Minutes is working on the feature. Okay, great. Brian Gumble, he asks questions. It makes everything, even like the trivial things, sound serious when he's asking questions. Michael, <laughs> wait, 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 wait a second. Are you, are you, <laughs> wait a minute, are you wearing a Doctor Strange? Are you wearing a Doctor? So right. you are a fan of Doctor Strange? Yeah, man. Right, what, right. What, so up? tell me what, what the so, what is the source of that fandom? <laughs> what, what, what does that right. mean? Who's the ancient one? <laughs> But uh, so look, no, it, 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 two things, two things, two things, two things. All right. One, I wish he didn't. I wish he had done that interview by himself. I didn't like yeah. to see that's his agent there. The lawyer, the lawyer uh, next to him. Yeah, yeah. Step, get out the way. Get out the way. Uh, it's just, mm -hmm. it just. Puts me, it's, it's for me. It puts me in a space like, what? What are you saying? He, he can, he's a grown man. He can, he can handle it himself. Let Antonio Brown have this uh, this interview. But that's just a little nitpick. But if I if I if I listen to Antonio Brown, this is probably like podcast number five or number six for him. No exaggeration. I listen to him. I've I've heard Bruce Arians talk about it. I've heard Tom Brady reference it, but not necessarily talk about it in depth. I listen to all the information. I think it really comes down to this. I think the real tension point, because it keeps coming up with it, ca it came up here and it came up with Brandon Marshall on his podcast. The I real tension point is, is mental health. 
Oh, right. It's right. so the Buccaneers. It sounds like the Buccaneers wanted to just like you said when immediately it, it happened. You said the Buccaneers cannot walk away from Antonio Brown. You bring him in. He doesn't do what you want yeah. him to do. You can't just they walk did what away. I wanted. And it's yeah. almost as if the Buccaneers were listening to you and said, okay, Antonio, we want you to get help. But if you say that to you can't say that to certain people because they they receive it in a different way. So it's, it's really you also can't say don't spend this any other way. That feels a little disingenuous. Not a little disingenuous, very disingenuous. If if they said that. Right. Right. So, if so it really comes yeah. down to it really comes down to He's not the most credible. The Bucks saying the Bucks saying, "Hey, we wanted him to get help." And Antonio Brown saying, "They think I'm crazy." I don't need help. <laughs> Yeah, right. So it's, right. I mean, that's really that. That's really the the because you can go back and forth. Did this really happen? Did that happen? Did I want? Yeah, but it, again, I still and go back to he didn't have his incentives guaranteed. He lost out on money. What this says is there's the reason why the lawyer there's a settlement coming of some kind that the Bucks are not clean enough in this process to avoid. They're going to have to pay him something. There's going to be a grievance. There's going to be litigation. Something sure. that's going to get some money in Antonio Brown's well, pocket, listen. which will make Antonio Brown happy. You talk about these other teams. You know, when he left, when he left the Patriots, they had to pay him too. They there paid him. Yeah, Buccaneers will pay him too. Yeah, he'll get something. He wants his he, he wants his bread. Hey, thanks for watching, brother from another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave, and be sure to watch us three to five p.m. Eastern time on Peacock. Appreciate you.